Hello everyone, um, my name is LP, I'm a modder for Portal 2, and today I'll be playing through a bunch of random test chambers. Um, this one is something called with all physics. Um, graphics looks interesting, it looks like a mixture of Overgrown and Portal 1. Um, that's interesting. Um, the sound these panels made were a bit strange, they are the sounds um, of panels in Portal 2, but hey, I'm not getting a blame. Um, bum -bum. Okay, that gives me a final. Mission portal over there now. What can I actually do? I'm stuck here, right? I don't like being stuck here. I want to go over there. What happens if I remove this? Nothing! Okay, that's rather pointless then. Oh, maybe I should just drop this one over here. Yes! I'm so glad. Also, stop thing. That's a bit of a shame later. Um, that looks really weird. The thing sticking out of the wall. Um, I would push them back into the wall because that's how they usually are in Portal 2. This really looks weird. Especially with the thing sticking out there. Um, Gel flow. We have bounty gel. Basic rule of bounty gel is if you have bounty gel, put it everywhere. So we're gonna stick with that plan. Okay. We have two cubes here. Why would we actually want those two cubes? There's a big red cross here, and... Oh, we want to put blue gel there, obviously. And then we need momentum. And that's also another problem, because we have that over here. Um, I'm just gonna bring Reflection Cube with me. Uh, let's see... Now... Only I could... I see a ball of very strange lighting. Yeah, on this surface here, um, it really looks like a vertex texture. Um, or is it just flickering light? It's just flickering light, but it's a bit weird. I would um, say change that. Because um, it looks really weird and unnatural, and I don't really like it. I would just make normal lighting. Oh, it'll fix. Hold on. Over here, onto here. Oh. Hmm. That's probably also a very bad idea. I'm just gonna fill that cube. I hope you won't respond. If not, I have a problem. It appears that I have a problem because I was so stupid to fizzle my own bloody cube. Um, let's just try and see if I can do it with only this cube. Uh, but generally, losing stuff like that is a bad idea. Um, Generally, not always, but almost always, it's a good idea to, if you have things like cubes, also introduce um, a button you can press. Um, so you can get a new one if needed. Also, one thing I noticed, um, I'll show you in a second, um, over, I'm gonna no clip here for a second. Over here, you have misaligned textures. Um, this row here is um, sticking out too much in the y-axis. Um, if you lower it, no, it's you should ha make this slightly higher. That's it. So it nicely aligns uh, with the lines here. That looks a bit more better, I suppose. A bit more better. Holy fuck! This 
is bad, 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 bad. Never build rooms in big box, and I'll show you why. Um, this here are this leaves. They are each blue square where you can be in is um, used for the engine to calculate what can be seen and what can't be seen. So if I am in this box over here on the floor, one of the things the engine does is see, hey, which other squares can I see? Well, in this case, everything you see right now. So that's a hell of a lot. Um, and outside the level, because this is outside the level, you see there are also a lot of these squares. And um, all those squares have to be rendered. And it takes a long time with compiling. And also, if you don't do it, it will make your your compile faster, and um, it will make um, the performance in the game also much better. So, I highly, highly recommend um, fixing leaks because that's probably why you are doing it because you have leaks um, where the game won't render. That's because leaks are very bad for performance. Um, that Valve decided, well, if you're going to make Maps of Portal 2, you have to see leaks. So, um, there's a very good reason why they did that. What? I can pick him up? What a jerk. I, I should be able to pick him up. The idea here is to bounce that off. So I can grab it and put it on a ball there. But that doesn't seem to work. Oh, and I also get Bouncy Gel. What do we need Bouncy Gel for? No! Oh! That's BS. Total, total BS. I have this ball and I'm not afraid to use it. Ah, the potato, that's completely... I don't know how this is intended to be solved, but it looks really weird to me at the moment. Deserves this turret, and the turret is extremely violent and annoying. How does one. How does one enable that laser? Did I mess this up somehow by having, having the need of a cube there? Hold on, let me check. Is it on now? No, it's not. How, do I, how does one. Turn that laser on. Because I'm pretty sure that's what I need to do. Is there another way I could possibly think of doing that? No, I need that laser on. How do how does one get that laser on? I pressed every flipping button. Wait, does that one turn it on? No, it does not. Come on, what is this? It's quite obvious, you know, if... If this works... 
It should burn this turret right now. That only makes sense. See, this would make sense. If this was on, I could burn him. Laser Light Zero Two. I have no idea what to trigger that. Where, where, where would it trigger? Did I miss anything? What's over here? Is there something over here? No, that's just a minor detail. There's a trigger there, but that's not it. Did I, oh! Did I miss anything here? It just doesn't have- oh, it has to do with this! Oh, hold on. It has to do with this, hasn't it? Yes! I have to use what? Do I have to use this funnel here? No. What? I could use the funnel. Let's pretend this is the laser cube I I had. It wasn't. Someone was gone for some reason. Then I can get in here. Now, that's really interesting. What could I do here? Well, I could fall down here. I want to accomplish nothing. That room seems useless. Um, I can't see a way I could possibly enable it later. And if I can't see that, I can't solve it. It's maybe it's my own fault. Uh, maybe I'm see missing something completely obvious. If I do, please let me know. Um, if not. <laughs> I have no idea what would turn. Well, wasn't isn't this button here that enables that? That could be. Yes, that turns on the laser. Okay, but the problem here is, um, I now see how to do this. You have to go over here. Once you're up here. You do this. But the problem here is that Mr. Turret um, is still bloody dangerous and I wouldn't be able to pull this up, I'm afraid. Um, I would change this a bit so it's slightly easier to pull up and slightly more straightforward because there's no way to tell that this one actually does that and that's kind of vital. Um, so yeah, I don't really like this map, sorry. Um, you did your best, but yeah. You should not build it in big boxes. Um, a bit more um, logic in your room um, could be a good idea. Um, there are some small things like this area over here that are completely useless. Um, I personally think it's best if um, a map just has the elements it needs and maybe an easter egg room or something, but don't add things you don't need just to confuse players. That's something um, bad, I suppose. So, yeah, that's um, everything I have to say about this map. And um, I hope this was informative. And, um, yeah, on to the next.